The intended focus of the START Lab, which is the Steady Thermal Aero Research Turbine Lab, is to really save fuel burn for gas turbine engines. Each day, 1.4 million barrels of fuel is used for just aircraft transportation. Our aim is to, to provide some useful results to industry to help save on the amount of fuel by about 5%, which would be a huge savings. My role in this research program has been to select uh, instrumentation to figure out what measurements we want to make and then figure out how to make those measurements and so on. We're looking at sealing effectiveness in uh, ring seals. A jet engine is composed of multiple rotating and stationary parts and so you can't have those rubbing together but you need to prevent the hot main gas, these combusted gases, from going into these, these spaces and heating up components to dangerously high levels which can have catastrophic effects. So the ca capabilities of this facility is that it has a turbine that most closely meets that of a real gas turbine in terms of rotational Reynolds number and blade Reynolds number and it operates in steady conditions. So we're able to run this rig for hours on end. So we're excited about this because if you benchmark our facility with others around the world, we're the only one that's able to operate in this in this space that's so important to a gas turbine. We're, we're trying to study, trying to understand the physics a lot better, uh, trying to understand what, is, what exactly is happening. So with our experiments, we're taking high fidelity um, measurements that will then be used to uh, effectively validate CFD. Students are the centerpiece of START. Really, our intention is to educate the next generation of students. Um, we have a great opportunity right now because very few students get the opportunity to work on rotating hardware. We hope to really set a new generation of those students um, by giving them the opportunity to work on and understand the fundamentals of heat transfer and fluid mechanics through their work, their research in the total machinery area. To deliver coolant to a piece of hardware that's subjected to the high temperatures, you have to deliver it to as many places on the blade, or as many places on the piece of hardware as possible. To do that, you need smaller and smaller channels to enhance the cooling effectiveness and to get better efficiency with your cooling air. And uh, right now, we're looking at using additive manufacturing to enhance the design process, allow more freedom of design. So our lab has formed a partnership with the SIMP3D facility, which is part of the Penn State Applied Research Lab. And we've been able to utilize their expertise in additive manufacturing to manufacture components that we want to test for turbine applications. The work that we've been doing with additive manufacturing here is a metal powder bed technology where a laser comes and scans over a bed of metal powder to generate a layer and then more powder is added. The process is repeated until the full 3D part has been generated. There's a lot of inherent roughness just with additive manufacturing yeah. um, that causes a lot of flow loss. It also enhances heat transfer, uh, but there's you know, benefits and costs with everything. And so it's such an unknown and new area of study that we're really trying to, to figure out what's going on. Um, and how additive manufacturing will affect the heat transfer. Specifically, we've gotten to do a lot of work with CT scanning and using that to do non-destructive testing on these components to measure internal dimensions and surface roughness. In addition, our students each year get to go to the International Gas Turbine Institute's Turbo Expo, which happens um, either in the U.S. or in Europe, and present their results and at that conference there's over 3,000 engineers from industry, government labs, as well as from academia. So there's a, there's a great opportunity to network for our students. But I've definitely grown a lot and I've, I've learned so much more about running experiments and selecting instrumentation uh, by working on this project. It's, it's really neat to be on the cutting edge of you know, trying to get as small as you can um, with a lot of these uh, coolant delivery systems to the hardware so that you can really have a more and more efficient um, cooling.